Hi, Zep. I finished another sketchbook recently. This one took about a year to finish. I would really like if my sketchbook or my sketchbooks were a bit quicker to fill up. I guess I'm the one who has to do it, so I need to do something about that. So this particular sketchbook has been to Denmark a few times. I think all the times, yeah, all the times have been to Copenhagen as well as elsewhere. So on the last trip, I bought a Copenhagen sticker and a Hugge sticker because Denmark Hugge. So I started this sketchbook in the middle of August last year. And here the first proper sketch is just a quick one. Went out to dinner for my husband's birthday and we had some starters and some fancy drinks. And here's our dog sleeping, which he seems to be doing most of the time these days. He is almost 14 years old. So. And barbecue in our garden, made some corn on a cob and we made our own fancy drinks. And a pair of boots that I've had for years, which I don't really wear because they're not super comfortable. But I just love the pattern, the colours on them. I got flowers and butterflies on them. So I have to see if I can find some insoles or something to make them a bit more comfortable. Right, so this is the first trip or stop over in Copenhagen because I was only there for about 24 hours. On the plane I drew the glass, I had a little drink in and I drew this castle in Copenhagen called Rosenborg Slot, Rosenborg Castle. I really like how this drawing has turned out, although the actual castle has a lot more detail on it, it's especially in the brickwork and things like that. But I'm quite happy with this drawing. And another quick, very quick drawing. I think I remember I was standing on a bridge over this little canal, which you may have come across. This is New Hound with very colourful old houses. And it was quite a windy day, as I remember it. So I was trying to be quick. But I really like how the sketch turned out. And it's Copenhagen, so you have to sketch some kind of bicycle. I think this is one that you use for kids, so it's covered when it's raining. And before catching the train to my hometown in Denmark, which is not Copenhagen, I had a bit of time at the central station in Copenhagen, so uh, I drew these wooden arches and brickwork. It's quite complicated, but I think it turned out okay. I think if you've been there, you probably be able to recognize it. I hope. One of the reasons I was in Denmark was to have a school reunion with some classmates that we first met each other 30 years ago, well 31 years ago now. So I sat in a little square in Aarhus, my hometown, waiting for one of my friends and I just did a couple of quick sketches and I sketched some people not very successfully but never mind so I didn't do much sketching in my hometown or at my parents house where I stayed and this is when I'm back home again just sketching random bits that I could see so, armchair, 
coffee table with various bits on it. I quite like this drawing, although maybe the the colour pencil on this particular kind of paper is not the best. But I still like it, especially like glass. I find glass really difficult to sketch. And this was at Christmas, I think Christmas Eve morning. And my husband was making breakfast for us. It's not a great, well, the drawings aren't really that great and it's not a great spread, but I still quite like it. And here's Blake again, the dog, asleep on my husband's lap. Now, this page with the salt and pepper grinders and this one, for some reason this was left empty and this one I had made these squares with watercolour I can't remember if I had a plan for them or if I just drew them drew them randomly well, anyway that wasn't used either so I had these three pages that weren't used so when I was coming to the end of the sketchbook I thought I'll have to add something I don't want empty pages so I just drew some bits in my studio. Alright, so now we're back in Copenhagen. And this is in January this year, 2024. I'm not a royalist by any definition, I don't think you would say, but for some reason I felt like I had to be in Denmark for the pro proclamation of the new Danish king after the now retired queen had abdicated in her New Year speech. So from her abdication to the actual proclamation day was two weeks and it was only like a week before that I decided I had to be there. So then I had to book a flight and hotel and yeah my mum came and Met me and we have a couple of nice days in Copenhagen together. And this is from the day of the proclamation and this is part of the Danish Parliament building Christians Ball or Ballwin if you have seen that TV series. And here we were standing by a canal that's sort of here. Lots of people, lots of people on the other side, and it was freezing cold. And we stood there for four or five hours before something actually happened on this balcony where the new king was proclaimed. There's no real sort of ceremony or a coronation or anything like that. It's very low key. The Danish stage minister, prime minister, prime minister, whatever you want to call it, comes out on the balcony and proclaims to four, uh, well, it's only three corners, that in this case the queen had abdicated, long live the new king. That's it. Super low key. It's kind of a sort of bit boring after you been standing there in the cold for four hours but never mind I was glad I was there not so much to say hello to the new king but maybe more to say goodbye to the old queen anyway so back home again I really like this drawing of Blake except I started with this black pen and of course then he moved and I thought I would try and draw him with coloured pencil instead and I think it turned out really well but of course now there's black marks on top of this sort of delicate pencil drawing so I might scan it in and see if I can remove the black marks without ruining the drawing and then maybe put it on the wall or something Right, so this was a day in London with my husband. There's a small chain of a Danish bakery cafe um, 
which obviously we had to go and visit. We had some Danish cakes and I bought some Danish rye bread because Danes love rye bread. But there's not many places in the UK we can get decent rye bread. So that was really a nice day. I think this must have been in April. Tulips in our garden. More tulips, but this time not from the garden, but my husband bought them for my birthday. Tulips, my favourite flower, I think. Maybe, maybe beaten by peonies. And this is just a random day. I think maybe one of the first days where it was warm enough that we could hang the washing outside. So I drew the towels hanging on the washing line. It's always a nice start of the warmer season. And here Blake is sleeping again. In this instance he was not having a great time. He had vestibular disease which affected his balance a lot. He was basically wobbling around like he had drunk a bottle of whiskey or something. It was not good. So we had several trips to the vet and thankfully he recovered because this was a week before we were supposed to go on holiday in Denmark with my parents and my sister and her family. But as I said, he recovered and we were able to leave him at home with a very nice dog sitter we found. And this is waiting at the airport on the day we left. It's not a great sketch of this plane. The sort of perspective is all off, but never mind. Right, so we flew to Copenhagen, and I think this is the yeah this is the only sketch I did in Copenhagen. We're only there for well, not even twenty four hours, and this is of the old stock exchange, which half of it sadly burnt down in April. It's a really beautiful building. Well, it was. Hopefully they can restore it. It's very sad to see it like that. It's one of my favourite buildings in Copenhagen. Right, so this is waiting to get on the ferry from Sweden to a Danish island called Bornholm, which is in the Baltic Sea. It was a really hot day. I think we waited there for over an hour and... In the car there was 30 degrees Celsius and not much cooler outside the car. And this is a finial from an old lighthouse that was in a museum. My mom and I went to a museum. The painter called Olaf Hust. But when we got there, there was still 20 minutes until the museum opened. So we sat by a car park overlooking the sea and just chatted for 20 minutes. And I did this quick drawing. I really, I think I, yes, I, I did a colour first. And then the pen on top of it. And because I, I knew I wouldn't have time to do the whole thing, I just did the the bit that was in the shade in the sort of local colour and left the rest white. I'm actually quite pleased with how that turned out. And this is a couple of weeks after we came back from Denmark. As you probably noticed, not many drawings on that holiday and that's because both my husband and I got COVID so that kind of put a dampener on what we were able to do and how much I was able to sketch 
and this is a couple of weeks after we came home I was still not quite well so I spent a lot of time in bed with tissues at hand <laughs> And another sign that I wasn't quite feeling myself because this was early August and this is from sort of early September when I went into London and didn't really have a lot of time so I just drew a couple of sketches. I might take one of my photos from the day and fill up this page here this is the reason for my trip to London to see a show by a podcaster that I listen to if you like anything to do with words and language mainly English I can recommend the Illusionist podcast really good and it was a really good show And here's Blake again because I realized I was at the end of the sketchbook and I just wanted to fill it up because this has been going for like a year so it's time to finish it. His face looks a little bit odd but you can still tell who it is. And another one and this one is done with continuous line which means you put your pen to paper and then you draw everything, you don't stop, you don't take the paper off or the pen off the paper. And again, it's like his nose is too long or his face is too squished together. But it still looks a lot like him. I especially like this leg here and the legs down here, it's quite cute. Alright, so last page. I think, like many sketches, I use it to try out materials or if I haven't got anything else to wipe my water brush, I do it on the back here. So that's why it looks sort of watercolory. I don't know if you can even see that, it's quite faint. So yeah, that's another sketchbook filled with random stuff. Just the way a sketchbook is supposed to be when it's sort of a journal. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And do subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. I have a playlist with a few sketchbook tours already, so I'll link to that in the description. So thank you for watching, I hope you have a great day.